Hi everyone, it's Christina, and I have finished my mini album, and now I am going to share it with all of you. And this mini album is for, um, um, I guess I'm an angel sh swapper, um, over at one of the one of the groups over at Ear Paper Pantry. You know how when you're in a swap and sometimes, um, you know, for whatever reason, your partner or you just can't participate in the swap. And, you know, that means somebody is not getting something. So I am, this is for someone who is not going to be getting a mini. And now they are, so yay! Um, so I'm not going to say who because it, it's a surprise. Although, you know what, I have done some research and I don't think this person, um, well, I guess this person watches videos, but they don't have their own um, YouTube channel. So, you know what, they probably won't even see this video. Or maybe they will. Anyways, doesn't matter. <laughs> um, here it is. It's very vintage. I love vintage. Um, it's chipboard, and there's also two paper bag album, two paper bags in here. So it's chipboard and paper bag. Um, the paper. Um, I don't know this line of paper that I'm using here. And but it came in a rack from Sue over at Sue bunch of sevens and zeros and her YouTube channel. And she gave it to me in a rack once, so I used that paper. And Tina Hale, she sent me just a ton of neat things um, in racks, and I've tried to incorporate her products. So you know what? A lot of things that I got in racks, I tried to use up in this album. And a lot of stuff in, in, in my stash. Um, lots of old buttons and old lace. Um, so I've tried to use stuff that's very old and stuff that's new, too, that you can make look old, right? And I use my favorite um, Tim Holtz Distress inks throughout this whole album, which is tea dye, vintage photo, um, walnut stain, black soot, and there's one more. I think it's burlap or one of those colors. And rub and buff. I use this throughout the album, too. So let's get started. I... Didn't, I called it Bountiful Blessings and just got l all kinds of layering of flowers and butterfly and cameo. It's real pretty. There's a bench. It's an image. I have tons of images that I have just saved over the years. So I cut that out and just added some glossy accents on it in the background. Here is some um, burlap. And then open it up, and I got this die cut in a rack, and just did the edge all around here with some lace, glued some lace on, and pretty butterfly. And then over here, the next page is an envelope, a gold envelope. Did some stamping on it. And Be Rebecca over at Crafts.Cupcake, she put these in a rack for me. Um, they're just beautiful. What she does is she buys these. Here, I have another one right here. She buys these, I guess, these charms. And then glues an image on the inside and then covers it with uh, glossy accents. So very nice. I love them. Thank you, Rebecca. And in the pocket here, I've got uh, made a post or made a made a postcard, good for journaling and um, a photo, and then a whole bunch of these little um, tags here that again are inked up and stamped. And some of them I put some bling on and some lace, lace along here and lace here. And here is um, this page. This image here, I believe this image has to do with soap, but you can't see the, the rest of the um, writing down here. But I liked it because it said Pleasant Reflections, which um, just had, it went so nicely with the, the lady here who looks like she's writing a letter or journaling. And she could be writing a friend. So that's where the sentiment, I put the sentiment here about friendship. And there's a little envelope there. And I tuck the tag in there. And then this next page, um, this is, um, what's it called, Re Recollections Lace, black and a, sort of a browny grayish lace. Just added uh, a flower here and made a stick pin, cut out a heart, 
glued it down and then these little pieces of paper they actually come like this so I just folded them in half and I didn't ink them up for anything I just I'm just going to tuck them in here and they'll be great for I don't know just writing a little letter a little note or something and then tucking it back in and then this page oh and then this pocket here has a big tag in there And then this page is like the girlfriend page. So I have the um, uh, dress form die cut and just put a, some, again, this is recollections lace and, and uh, you know, some bling up here for a necklace and a couple of tags. And some bling here. And this pocket here I made out of from Prima, I have these boxes here that these are those botanical um, note cards. So I used that for making the pocket and then just put some vintage ephemera on the front and a little sentiment about um, a girlfriend. And this page here is a, again, came in a rack, a butterfly die cut that um, I used my. Uh, oh shoot, how come I can't remember now? Oh, it's always when you're on a, um, you know, you're embossing stuff. <laughs> and I embossed the um, music note stamp, and then I just used different, uh, and then used clear UD on it, and then I used, um, oh darn, isn't that horrible when you're doing a video <laughs> and you can't remember? It's just, it's powder, and then you just sort of rub it on. I can't remember the name of the powder now. It'll come to me later. But it's sort of a purple and green. It's very pretty. And then this um, fairy girl here, um, I have a CD and it's just full of vintage images. So I cut her out, used my Copics on her, and then used that crackle, clear rock candy, that crackle paint on there. So it's very pretty. Put some wish and dream tickets in there and um, used inked up a closed peg and then these are the tags that are there. Chocolate. Chocolate and treasure. And then the paper bag flap. This is the paper bag flap. And then for this two page spread, it's just so cool. It's just so, I just love it. I love this. I have this script stamp here and then this paper that, that Sue sent me. It's also paper that's a script. So you know what? I sort of just left the the, the whole two-page spread as is. I didn't want to add too much to it because it's just so cool. Good place here to put a photo. Um, another photo we can go here. And then here you could um, take this out and write your note or do some journaling on it. This is one of those glassine envelopes. And this is a pocket too, so you can tuck things in here if you want and tuck things in here. And the background here is a doily that I inked up and Ripped up with uh, my homemade glimmer mist. And there's a pretty flower that um, I bought on Etsy. Those crocheted flowers. And then this two-page spread is just so girly, isn't it? Isn't that? This is that um, uh, Webster's Pages uh, trim, all of it. This and the pink, and then this silver is just so pretty. And I love the paper. So this is a script paper. So this is script paper and I made this pocket script. And then this background paper, which is a music note, I made this pocket music note. So I just added a bunch of bling here and again flowers for my stash. And there goes my phone. I can tell. I can tell. Can you hear it? La 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 la. I know which son is calling. Okay, gotta go. Okay, I'm back. Okay, that was son number two, or middle son. Uh, you know, you just got to answer those phone. You got to answer the phone, you know, when your kids call. All right, so these flowers here, aren't they beautiful? These two here, and this one here came in um, when I was doing, I was doing last year the flower swap on your paper pantry. I did that for I don't know how many months, and I had so many flowers I had to stop doing that swap but you know what I think it's time to go back into the flower swap because I'm getting really low um, so anyhow there there's the the two pockets they turned out really pretty and then see this particular I don't know design here I don't I guess this is um 
a die or maybe one of those nestabilities one. I don't have it, but somebody sent me, I think in one of those flower swaps, they had actually stuck their flowers on this. It came actually, it's really large, so I just use it as a template. So I, those are the glued on, they're like just the background. And then just made a couple of tags. I just love this paper, it's just beautiful. I don't know if that, where I got that paper, but it's absolutely gorgeous, so I just made some tags. And in this pocket here, more tags. And I don't know if I said this earlier in the video, but I have this image, by, like an 8 by 10 available on my blog. I have lots of images on my blog, so just go there and um, you can print them out. Lots of vintage kitchen and sewing type um, images. Look at that button. That's Tina sent me this in Iraq. I love that button. I'm having so much trouble getting my everything to focus tonight. I think it's that pretty? Okay. And then this page here is just a, sort of a collage of um, vintage ephemera. Wrinkled up the envelope, inked it up, put friendship, you know, friendship here. And this tag, I didn't make this tag, it came in a rack. Can't remember who made it, but I love it and thank you. And then this little envelope, and just tucked a little, um, like a little card, like a little note card or something. You could add a photo to that and do some, write a note or something on it. And then this page here, this is the paper bag flap, and added some uh, sentiments. It says love. This one says memories, and giggle and music. And then you just open this up. You can do some journaling here, and then add your photos on the inside. And then the other flap um, is stiff. I added some fabric stiffener on this burlap and just put a button here. It almost looks like a door, doesn't it? And that's a nice spot to put um, a photo. And on the last page is a beautiful frame, which I did the same thing. I stamped it with a script stamp, though, instead of the um, music, um, music stamp used clear beauty on it and then you ah perfect pearls that's what it called <laughs> the powder the perfect pearls powder and did again in sort of the green and blue and purple and there is there's the um fairy girl again use the clear rock candy on her i love that i love that crackle effect and that's it and then you flip it over and that's the back page and just added some prima bling i think it's prima bling and um, and then just a little card that says handmade by Christina B. And I think also, which I didn't do, is before I mail this out, I'm going to, I think I'm gonna hang some charms from here, right? That would be a nice idea. So I think I'm gonna do that too and just put some charms on there. Anyhow, so this is my vintage mini, so thank you everybody for watching, um, and yeah, and I love your comments. I love reading your comments. Okay, bye everybody.